Hi, if you're thinking about buying a home in a 55 plus community, then you're going to want to check out the latest and greatest here at Sun City Center, the Preserve at La Paloma. So let's get to it. Hi everybody, thanks for tuning into my channel Living in Tampa, where it's my goal to show you everything you need to know about eating, sleeping, playing, and living in the greater Tampa Bay area. Hey, if you've never been to my channel, could you do me a favor? Hit that subscribe button, ring the little bell, so you'll be notified every time that I release a new video. In today's video, I am on site at a brand new 55 plus community, the Preserve at La Paloma. Let's take a look. So I'm here at one of the new construction homes inside at the Preserve at La Paloma. This community is a very small, intimate community in a great location. So if you're not familiar with Sun City Center, here it is on the map. It is just south of Tampa. Very easy access to I-75 from this community, as you can see right here. And it is located within the well-developed area of Sun City Center, which has been around for a very long time. There are lots of nice restaurants, shopping, uh, very close to a hospital, um, very easy access again to I-75. So you can easily go south to get to Sarasota. You can go north and be in Tampa in about 30 minutes. Um, you've got both of the beaches that are very nice that you can visit. You can go over to St. Pete Beach, or you can go over to the Sarasota beaches and Bradenton beaches. So as far as location goes, this is definitely a prime location. The community itself is going to be a very small community of only a little over 100 homes. They are going to be building some villas and some single family homes. And it's just basically one big loop around this community. So it's not one of these super big, overwhelming communities where you're not going to know your neighbors. This will be a very easy neighborhood to get to know your neighbors and make some friends. And you're also going to have some very nice amenities in this community. They are building a clubhouse at this community that will have a pool, a spa, you're gonna have a nice fire pit, a pickleball court. Um, there's going to be the clubhouse where they're going to have activities. And of course, this entire community is gated for added security, so that is super nice. Another thing that I really like about this community is that most of the single family homes have a view of the beautiful golf course or of a conservation. So that is definitely a plus. The price point is really nice as well. We'll get into that a little bit later, but for now, I just wanna show you some of the views. Now this particular home that I'm at now, you're going to have a conservation view, which is really nice and quiet, very peaceful, and I guarantee you there's gonna be lots of deer and other cute wildlife that you can watch, plenty of birds. Um, it's just a very peaceful setting here at the preserve at La Paloma. So the builder of this community is Madame Homes. They are a nationwide builder. Uh, they're actually a Canadian builder and they do build a very nice home. I'm going to put up uh, some of the standard features that are included in their homes here. And if you'd like more information on that, you can always reach out to me and I'm happy to email you a more detailed list. But they are definitely a high quality builder with a good reputation. So they have a few models here at this community and I'm gonna go ahead and take you through some of those models now and then I'll take you on a little drive around of the community itself. Okay guys, so I'm going to walk you through this top sale model right now and let you see what that looks like. And then once I'm done with that, I'll take you through a couple more and drive you through the community as well to give you an idea of what that looks like. And then we can discuss where the current pricing is. So let's get started. Here I am right inside the front door. So the front door is right here behind me. And again, we are at the top sale model. And as you walk in, everything is nice and open. You've got your beautiful kitchen there. Do keep in mind that they do put some upgrades in these models, but I love this big, huge island. I love the fact that you've got an actual pantry here. It's pretty good size. And of course you've got a good space for your eating area, and your family room here little recessed area where you can set your television and any other 
um, console or anything like that that you might have. You do get a nice lanai as well. And then here is the master bedroom. Very nicely done. We come through to the master bath, which is great because it has a huge shower along with a water closet there and a very large walk-in closet. His and her sinks. And you do get a linen closet as well. So this is at the back of the home, giving you a lot of privacy. And then over here, past the kitchen, down the hallway, completely separate really from the master, is your office space or flex space. You can make it an office or another bedroom if you need one, um, workout space, whatever works best for you. You do have a little bit of storage space in here where your air conditioner is. So you could put a vacuum or something like that. Uh, you do get a garage there. There are the dimensions of the garage. And over here is your guest suite. Pretty standard size closet there. There is a bathroom in the middle. It is a half bath, but it does say here that you do get a full bath. So they just changed this one just because it's a model. And then there is another linen closet here, as well as another full bedroom. So very nice layout, affording you a lot of privacy, affording your guests a lot of privacy. And then the last but not least is the laundry room here. You do have a washer dryer area with room for cabinets there. There's not room for a sink in this one, um, but it's, it's a great laundry room. You could definitely fit a little folding table in there if you wanted to. So very, very nicely done. Now I'm going to head over to the next model. Okay, the next one we're going to walk through is the Anclote. It's a two with a study, two bath, two car garage, 1,500 square feet. So here we go in this one. So we can compare this to the other one to see which one you like best. Again, this is the Anclote. On this one, you have the office straight up front right after you walk in. You do have some nice French doors on it. And again, you've got a nice open and area. It's pretty similar right here, actually, to uh, the top sale. Very similar in that you have your eating space and your family room right there and your nice kitchen. This one has the gray cabinets, which are very popular these days. You do have a pantry on this one as well. The pantry's not quite as big in this model. And the same kind of thing where you have your lanai and your master is in the back. So you're right close to the lanai. Really good size master. I mean, this is very large furniture, king size bed and two really big nightstands along with a dresser. And you would definitely have room to stick another dresser here if you needed two dressers. And then walking into your bathroom, again, you're getting the his and her sinks. You are getting another big closet there. And water closet, there will be a door on that. They take all the doors off for the most part of the models so that you don't have to open and close doors. And a good size shower in this one too. Now we can go on, again, this is gonna be completely separate. That's another, another thing that I really like about their floor plans. The most of them are set up this way to where the master is kind of off by itself. Um, you've got your laundry room here and that would you know lead out to the garage. And then you've got a bedroom here. Such cute decorations. These, these decorators, they really know how to do it nicely. Standard size closet here, nothing fancy about that. Um, 
And then you do have a linen closet outside here because directly opposite of the bedroom, right next to it, I should say, is the, uh, the bathroom. So you get the gray cabinet in here, water closet and very nicely done tub shower combination. It's a very large bathroom. So that is this model. What do you think? I think it's lovely. Now I have one more to show you, so I'm gonna walk across the street and I will resume the video there. Okay, so those two that I showed you there were the villas, they were attached. Um, this one here is a single family home and it is called the Egmont. Here's a little, you know, view of the outside. And it's pretty similar in size, two with a study, two bath, two car garage, 1500 square feet. You do get the paver driveway here, which is super nice. Very nice landscaping package. And we'll go in here. So you can compare this to the villas. This has more of a like an actual entry foyer way here. You do have a little closet here, which a lot of people love to have that, you know, coat closet. I think is uh, something most people like to have. You do have your garage here. Haven't been able to go in the other garages, so I will. Uh, I'll show you the. The garages, they do epoxy the floors, which is really nice. And then you do get, in all of these models, you get your hurricane shutters. So that always makes people feel good to know they've got those if they need them. And then over here, everything's a little more separated. See, we've got the office here. And again, it does have these lovely French doors on it. And across from that, on the other side, you've got your guest suite. It's a pretty good sized bedroom. With the standard closet, the bathroom here. And you do get a, a linen closet for that bathroom as well. And then walking through, it's maybe the same general idea where you have your kitchen that's very open to your eat-in space and your family room. And again, you've got your lanai back there and you can see the golfers in the background. That's something that really draws people to this community is the views of the golf course are just lovely. And here you have your pantry and the laundry room. I love this little sign. Alexa, do the laundry. In here is going to be your HVAC. And again, I do like that they left a little bit of space in here. So you can put maybe vacuums or, you know, if you need additional shelves for more pantry space, whatever you need it for. Very nicely done kitchen. This is very modern. And then tucked back here by itself, again, very close proximity to the lanai with that great view back there is the master bedroom. Good size. And again, with the his and her sinks, enormous closet, beautiful shower, and a separate water closet. I think this model is really lovely. If you prefer a single family home and not the attached villa, um, this one has pretty much everything that everyone is looking for. A two, two with a flex space, 1500 square feet, Put you right in that sweet spot. So now I will take a little drive through of the community. This is a very small community. Um, I think there's only going to be around 100 single family homes and, um, and then of course the villas as well. And I will share with you a price sheet um, that shows what the current prices are. Now the prices do continue to go up as I have mentioned in other videos and I'm sure you're very familiar with that in other parts of the country as well that the prices just keep increasing. 
Um, so the sooner the better. If you are looking to make a move, I would say don't put it off. So let's take a look at this lovely community. Okay, so I did want to point out that you do have this gate here. This gate will be closed once construction is complete. And again, over here on this side, you do have golf course views for most of the lots that are on that side. It's a very nice entrance and it is part of Sun City Center. I am driving out of the model home parking lot right now. Uh, that is right opposite the gate there. And we'll just take a little drive through to show you how the community looks right now. It is in the very early stages, um, but it is changing very quickly. They are building a pool. I will drive you by to where you can see that little clubhouse and pool. But just look at these lots and the view on these lots in the back. It's very, very nice. There is in some sections there is water back there so you've got water view and golf course view and then the homes that are situated across the way there are definitely very nice well-kept homes so your view of that is going to be phenomenal as well and then when you get down here a little further The lots are even nicer because it's uh, it's more, you know, just golf course. No, no other homes that would be in your line of sight. So that's very nice. And as we come over here, it's really just like a big loop that they're doing. That's why I said it is a very small community. Uh, Sun City Center has been around for a long, long time. Del Webb uh, built this community. Gosh, some of the homes I want to say are from, you know, the 70s even, but it's been built up over the years. And this is, as far as I know, going to be the very last part because I don't think there's any more land left. Now, these here are the villas. As you can see, they are attached and they are going up very quickly. And then I will hop out right here and show you the clubhouse and pool. So this is still obviously in progress, but it's going to be a very nice sized pool. So that will be very nice to have just for this little section of the community. And so that was just one big loop that I made. And what I like about that is Sun City Center is enormous and it can be overwhelming to a lot of uh, clients that I work with. They say, you know, I don't want to live in Sun City Center. It's too large. It's nothing on the scale, you know, compared to like the villages or anything, but nonetheless, it is quite large. So I think having this little section here uh, really helps make people feel a little more comfortable. You're going to get to know your neighbors and you're kind of off here all by yourself because you have the gate. So that wraps up my driving tour of Preserve at La Paloma. I hope you like what you've seen. If you are interested in homes in this community, then you can give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Whichever method of communication you prefer is fine. When it comes to moving to Tampa, I've got your back. Do me a favor, hit subscribe, ring that little bell, and let me know if you've got any questions about the Preserve at La Paloma. Oh, my.